Hi there. Now for this question, we're given that f of x equals the natural log of x, where x is greater than zero. And we're asked to sketch on separate axes the graphs of y equals f of x. In part two here, y equals the modulus or mod of f of x. And then in part three, y equals minus f of all of x minus four. And show on each diagram the point where the graph meets or crosses the x-axis and in each case state the equation of the asymptote and this is all for seven marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this just give you a moment then to pause the video when you come back I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay welcome back then if you had a go. So for the first part then Okay, y equals f of x. Let's set up our axes first of all. This is the standard graph, natural log of x, so it should be fairly familiar. If not, do try and commit it to memory. So we've got our axes, just put x here, and this one here is y. And the graph then of fx equaling natural log of x is a graph that looks something like this, comes up from the y-axis there, goes through 1 on the x-axis and tails off like that. So this point here is 1. The natural log of 1, in other words, is 0. And we have the asymptote then is the y-axis. So let's just put that in here, the asymptote Okay, is the y-axis. Its equation though is x equals 0. All right. Now we move on to the second one. Okay, so just put part 2 there. And we've now got to sketch y equals the modulus or mod of f of x. And if we put our axes down, what does putting a modulus around the outside of a function always do to a graph? Well, it always returns the y values as positive. So that means that if any graph drops below the x-axis, as it does in this one here, on this stretch, then these values are, become positive values for y. So this part gets reflected in the x-axis. So we've got our 1 here, OK? and this part of the graph then would come round just like it did before but instead of carrying on down here it gets reflected up and so we've got a graph looking something like that. The curve approaches the y-axis so the y-axis is our asymptote again. So we've got an asymptote, okay, asymptote and it's the y-axis, in other words, x equals 0. OK, so that's that one. Now, part 3 is a bit more involved here. It involves two transformations. So I'll take you through those parts separately. OK, so for part 3, let's deal first of all with f of x minus 4. And again, we should be familiar with this particular transformation. We'll just sketch our axes on first of all. X and Y there. Now, f of x minus 4 would always take any graph and move it 4 units to the right, OK? 4 units to the right, not to the left because that negative just moves it 4 units to the right. So if we take this graph and move it four units to the right, what we're going to have is that this point here, where it crosses the x-axis, if we move it four units now, is going to be at x equals five. The asymptote here, the y-axis, moves four units across, so there's going to now be an asymptote at x equals four. So just draw a dotted line down there, and if we draw the graph in, we're going to have something looking like this. OK, so this would be the graph of y equals f of x minus 4. 
the asymptote here will be at x equals 4. But now we've got a minus in the front. Putting a minus in the front of any function, what that does is it reflects it in the x-axis. So putting this all together, then if we draw our axis up again, okay, something like that, x, y, we've got our asymptote, I'll do that as a dotted line, I tend to do that quite a lot, okay, with asymptotes, so that is at 4, the graph crosses at 5, and we reflect this graph in the x-axis, so it's going to look something like this. This part here is coming down through the 5, just missed it there a bit, but hopefully you get the idea, and then just goes off like that. Okay, so we've got that, and it never crosses that line, so it just approaches it. So this then is the graph of y equals minus then f of x minus 4. And we have to quote the asymptote, so we'll just write this in for the last time. Asymptote then is x equals 4. All right.